everybody, it's Geek Mess this week. That means I will upload videos and you will unsubscribe because I'm apparently uploading videos and that does not make any sense. But you do! And I already lost 8 subscribers. It's kind of my perch for the new year when I'm going to upload more. Yeah, I'm, I'm really into this whole Geek Mess thing. And now we will follow up with a little bit of DIY. DIY! Are you a DIY channel now? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Calm down. I'll still do other things. This is just for Christmas because we all are broke and we want to do and have some unique Christmas gifts for our friends. Am I right? At least I want to. And that's why I'm going to try out new things. Let me live my life, YouTube. Be excited. This is what I have for you guys today. Oh my god, they are precious. They don't look like shit. Am I right? It's uh, the Cuphead, guys. Isn't that cute? I made it with my own hands and I will show you how to do that. Don't unsubscribe. How about we get right into it? Ooh la la, hello, hello. This is me, my tutorial voice. <laughs> And it starts right away with the cups that I bought in a light grey color like in the original artwork of the characters. Make sure that the surface of your cups is grease and dust free. Sorry, that was that, that was unnecessary. Here I use a nail polish remover to get rid of the sticker glue from the price tags. And these are the porcelain markers that you can buy in literally every crafting store. I started with applying the white liquid color for the eyeballs and it turned out to be very, very light, which means you have to apply multiple coats of color and let the color dry for about 15 minutes in between those steps. It was also a little bit runny, that's why you definitely have to apply another coat to blend it all together, kind of. There you go. I did the whole thing again for the blue cup, as you can see here, and now we start with the fun part! Outlining. Outlining. Take the black porcelain marker, shake it and then push it on some paper so that the color squishes out. I started with outlining the eyes and filled in the pupils, then I added the nose and the mouth. Very simple tutorial, very basic, just like I told you. Now we can add the red for the nose and the tongue and fill in the remaining black parts. And that's basically it. And now I simply repeat all these steps for the blue cup. Keep in mind to always apply the light colors first, people. Otherwise, it'll be a hot mess to get it all nice and clean. Now that we are done with the painting, we can actually put these babies into the oven and bake them for about 30 minutes at 160 degrees Celsius. But you should check your instructions on the colors that you buy because sometimes they just dry in the air and they don't have to be baked. So check that before you put it in the oven, okay? And you know what we can do in the meantime? Exactly! Play an outdated game on our non-waterproof devices in the snow outside because we are very basic and we still play Pokemon Go sometimes. Don't judge me. After catching some new Pokemon, we get our cups out of the oven. How about that? And there you go, we are done. It is absolutely not the other day and I haven't forgotten to film an outro for this video because I'm a professional YouTuber. Get off my dick! We made something together and we will do something together tomorrow. So if you like this video and if you try to create something on your own, please tag me in the pictures on Instagram or send it to me on Twitter because I really want to see what you guys come up with, especially with the whole geek geeky theme that is going on on my channel right now and I would really love to see you tomorrow in my other video or if you are watching this later I don't know why I should do that but if you're watching this video later you can check out my other videos that I did for Geek Mess with four different other DIYs in my playlist for Geek Mess so check that out if you like this video please give it a thumbs up I will see you guys tomorrow bye <laughs>